Hello everyone, I'm back at Fan Expo Cleveland, joined by Kate Flannery from The Office. Kate, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. Good to meet all kinds of stories. Sorry, I have been being a Well, you're probably most known for your time on, as Meredith on The Office. This is true. So many incredible, iconic moments on that show. What is your favorite? Out of all of them. I think yeah, it's so hard to pick one, but I really loved working on um, Rockin' Christmas with Michael Scott Drake. Uh, kind of I think my favorite is the one where you get hit by the car. Uh, the I did my own stunts. I did a lot of my own stunts, and that was one of them. We like, started on the car, and like, somebody pushed me out of the glass, and then rolled off the car into a giant mat, and I almost missed that one time. But I did. The show must go on. What a story part. That's iconic, and you've worked with so many cool people on that show, Steve Carell, John Krasinski. But you've also worked with a lot of cool people outside of yeah. the office. Who are some of the highlights of your career? Uh, I worked with William H. Macy on an Indie film. Uh, and he, was a, he was a TV drunk on Shameless, so we had a lot in common. Great actor. Uh, I mean, gosh, um, I, of course, I loved working with Will Ferrell that was on The Office. Was the yeah. And, uh... I don't know, Kathy Bates is amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen her before Misery, but she's like, she's, she's like, look, she's the one. She's amazing. And you guys have the office, they're such a close knit cast. Yeah. Angela and Jenna obviously saw their podcast. Well, no, right. How often do you guys stay in contact with each other outside I mean, of office? Pretty often. Yeah, I'm on a text thread too. And, um, you know, just heard from Randy the other day. Just actually just discussing the fact that it was our 10th anniversary of our last shot together. So um, this May is 10, 10 years will be off. And then they. No, but that's a you know. And obviously, we're in a world of reboots and remakes. Would you? be down to come back for maybe just like a one episode special or something that maybe goes on Peacock. Of course. I would I am I am not holding that like project. I'll tell you I'm so honored. I, I had the best time nine seasons I had the best I would love nine but you know um, all good things must come to an end except for the Simpsons that lasts forever. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, no, I mean, I, I feel it's super grateful, and obviously we got to do what a great thing, but it's not the cards, you know, just keep streaming, you know, they still watch it, they live it, but I know, also I say, like, we need more Botox, like, like uh, for let's try that again. <laughs> Well, The Office was such an important part of my upbringing. I'm so glad people can relive it on Peacock, on Netflix, wherever you are in the world. It's so awesome. And one last question for you. If you could do any project in the world next, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Um, probably Broadway. When people come and see me, but when they get up out of their seat in the middle of the show and walk out. That's your choice. Well, it was an honor talking to you. Nice to meet you. I hope we get to speak again soon. I hope so too.